Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, here we are, about to play some South Park, I guess. We'll uh, see how this works. Playing it on my phone, just like we did the last time, so uh, apologies if the uh, camera work is a little bit sloppy. It's not going to be a very stable camera. <laughs> this game requires access to your phone's storage, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sounds good. Hopefully nothing uh, nothing crazy goes on here. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I have not watched, uh, I've watched a little bit of gameplay videos on this so far. Um, I haven't watched a whole lot, so I don't have a lot of spoilers to go off. I've just watched some people do some PVP and stuff, uh, so I know very little about the game. Um, I'm not planning on playing this game super serious. It's gonna be more of a casual, free to play experience for me. Um, so if you enjoy that, stick around. Hopefully it'll be fun for everybody. I'm definitely open to uh, suggestions. Uh, if anybody has any advice or um, if you see me about to do something stupid, <laughs> by all means, uh, chime in and let me know. And then uh, I'll probably play this at least through the, maybe try and get through the tutorial stuff today. Um, and then I've got another project that I'm working on for the channel. It's gonna be something a little bit different, something um, not necessarily gaming related, but related to my favorite hobbies. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So this game contains both in-app purchases and the option to watch, blah, 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 okay. Oh, I can't hear anything because my microphone's plugged in. I guess I could unplug my microphone and hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. Uh, now I can at least hear the sound. It's the sheriff. Can you guys still hear me, by the way? If not, just let me know, and if the sound okay. is bothering you, then I can Cowboys plug the microphone back in. There's a legend of a new sharpshooter, a kid who is a master of his phone. <laughs> this kid is apparently on the phone all the time. If a kid like that exists, how are you going to convince him to play with us? Simple. This should be good. I'm going to call him. <laughs> Hang on a sec, guys. I'll be right back. I love South Park, man. Oh, now I have to, uh, all right, I have to readjust. Cartman's calling. Accept the call. Oh, hey, new kid. Oh, we oh. need you to come play with us. A Put on some cowboy reworking. shit and meet us outside. And bring your phone. Okay. Like I said, I'm playing on my phone, so apparently this is going to uh, be going from landscape to portrait mode or something. So, sorry about the uh, web is our character, I guess. We'll go with that, sure. We'll make it as close as close to me as possible, I guess. Yeah, looks fine. Can I change the color of those? Sweet. Yeah, I've got brown eyebrows, sure. Eyes. <laughs> Eh, we can go with that one, I guess. No. <laughs> nice. There we go, that'll work. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sometimes I wear glasses, but uh, I guess I won't for this. Can I play? Oh, what did, I, what did I not choose? Oh, hair. Fair enough. We'll go with that.
sure that works. End a live match with more health bar to win. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, here we go. Let's do this, new kid. Drag me onto the battlefield. All right, Sheriff Cartman. There you go. I wear the badge. Stop, Paleface. I am Stan of Many Moons, greatest warrior of the phone. No cowboys shall pass. Not so fast, Engine. This new kid is on is on the phone even more than you. Then let us battle. So he summons. I'm a tank new kid. Tanks are slow, but can soak up massive damage. I need more ammo. Okay. Ranged units have lower health, but can attack from a distance. I like this game already. Alright. Assassins have low health, but are crazy fast and deal massive damage. I've heard rats are a pretty good card in this game, so be looking forward to getting some of those maybe. Nice playing, kid. Alright, so so far pretty easy. So I've been added to a group chat. The new kid just beat the Indian Chief. Cowboys forever. <laughs> yeah, with my basic deck. Basic deck. Stop making excuses, mini moon. New kid is going down like a bitch. Okay. Tap on the level node to continue your hunt for Santa Many Moons. So, level difficulty, this one's an easy one, okay. And then it looks like loot, maybe we could get a fireball, some coins, or a lightning bolt, or maybe a combination. I don't know how it works. We'll see. I've heard fireballs pretty good. I've also heard lightning bolts pretty good. I don't know which one's better. I don't know what the difference is. I think fireballs like an AoE or something, right? So energy increases over time. Called cards cost energy to play. Seems easy enough. Tap and hold on the card to see the details. So this icon shows cards class. Shield is a tank. Daggers are assassins, and swords are fighters. Probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Get in there, Sally. Okay, so I guess you just have to kind of time when you're playing your cards or something. You're no match for me, Pelface. I have more powerful cards than you can imagine. Inuit Kenny. Sounds scary. <laughs> I like he has like walrus tusks. Nice. <laughs> Inuits are technically Native Americans. True. Death to the Cowboys. Okay. 
Man, they were killing me for tank, dude. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so three special items are hidden in these lockers. Try and find them. So we get to open three lockers. So which one do you think? Um, let's open the Lord Locker. Uh. Alright, we'll open this one. Oh, got a fireball. Nice. Damages enemies in an area. 18 damage if it hits enemy leader. Sweet, you got the fireball card. It's in your deck now. Use it in the next battle. Yeah, tokens like matters. And got a bunch of coins. So I guess that's good. So no lightning bolt. Oh well. Oh my god, you killed me, you bastard. <laughs> Cowboys rule, you guys all saw. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you lose. Okay, so in this one we can get an Indian tunic, an arrowhead, and a lightning bolt. Yeah, sorry my hair is a little, like, messed up. I've been outside all day. I was doing a bunch of filming for a video that I'm going to be working on, so... Alright, let's, uh... circle under Carmen shows how long until his special power is ready. Okay. The larger circle around Carmen shows the range of his power. Okay. Guess I could save up, use the fireball. Uh -oh. Cool. oh, there's guys coming behind me. Hey, sorry, back. I don't know what happened there. My uh, my streaming crashed. You're pretty good, new kid, with that phone. But now I shall play my tribal myth teller. Who is that? <laughs> Storyteller Jimmy. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Kingspin. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Just crashed. Down with the cowboys. Let's save up and use the uh, fireball. Cartman's ability. Got an arrowhead, some coins, and an Indian tunic. Hey, that's a sweet tunic. Okay. The messages really pop up and go away kind of quick. Tap the phone to access outfits. Oh, is this like you can customize your character with like different costumes or something? That's pretty cool. Change your shirt. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Color it pink. Okay, sure. Uh, 
Oh, I have to change that. Oh. Nice. Sure. Okay. So far, pretty fun. Wow, being an Indian is tough. New kid sure pwned somebody. New kid pounded your ass. No, he p p p p p. I would agree, Cartman. So here I can get Nathan, Indian Feather, and Coins. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it, this game looks pretty fun. It looks like it's more, a little bit more strategic than, uh... I wear the badge. The animation throwdown, I'm guessing. Gunslinger Kyle. Positioning is really important in PvP. Like in what regard, like what do I need to be looking out for as far as position? Is there like an ideal place that I want to be playing my heroes or something or my cards? Like I'm guessing, you know, if they have a bunch of people down low and you play something up high, then whatever is up high will just run by everything. Oh, that was a complete miss. You have guts, new kid, but you're no match for what's next. What's next, Stan of Many Moons? Shaman Token. Well, I've got a fireball ready for him. I'll take your scalp! Your death will be slow and painful. You play... Okay, play in lanes to maximize damage. Time to die. Drop tanks into groups so you can AOE them. Okay, that makes sense. And we'll blow up. Boom. That's all that matters. This is easy stuff though, right? I probably would have gotten my ass kicked there in a few minutes. Alright, let's see if we can get Nathan. Where do we think Nathan's hiding? Maybe he's hiding under the cow. <laughs> Alright, I got Nathan. Deals area damage with exploding bombs. Seems pretty good. Hey, got a feather. Got another feather. Or I got eight feathers and then another feather. So I'm guessing those are like what you use to upgrade your cards or something. I know you can upgrade cards. Oh, what is this? Alright. From what I've seen, PvP is where that would matter. Drop tanks into groups so you can AoE them. 
My name is David Cottonbear, Senior Head of Marketing. We've heard that you're really good on your phone. If you want to get even better, please head on over to our store. You won't regret it. What do you say? Hello? Oh, yeah, I forgot you don't talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you don't talk. <laughs> uh, so tap the shop, new kid. There's something waiting for you inside. Where have you been? This is the sweet stuff you can buy in the shop. This sure is a friendly shop. It even gives away free cards. Oh, sweet. Okay. I like the opening. It's kind of cool. Coins. Indian Feather. Arrowhead. Bandita Sally. And... Oh, nice. Rat Swarm. Yeah, I heard Rat Swarm's really good. Tap here for even more cool stuff. Just because you're so good on your phone, this pack is free. Oh, so I guess this is where, like, the real money stuff comes into play or something? Okay, well, we'll take this free one. Rat's form is okay. Probably better when you're starting out. Maybe it doesn't, doesn't stay as good as long. 500 coins. Power serum. Ancient Fossil, Tome of Knowledge, Indian Feather, oh, another Rat Swarm, Outlaw Tweak, 3 out of 5, Bandita Sally, 6 out of 5, okay. Rare, that's a start. Oh, Nelly, okay, is she good? Sweet, epic card. Oh, sweet, got a Storyteller Jimmy. Is that like the same for pretty much everybody on their first pack or something? Okay, so we're done there. Okay. And then I heard like you really shouldn't, um, you shouldn't be using your coins to buy cards from here, right? Save your coins for upgrading and stuff. Okay, I don't know where to go, so we'll go out of here. Wow, new kid's really good with his phone. GG. Only upgrade the cards you are using. Okay, that's a that's a good tip. It would probably be helpful if I knew, like, which cards were, like, the best cards for me to focus on at the beginning. I probably should look into that before I actually start doing upgrading. <laughs> Mimsy. I oh, love Mimsy and Nathan. And Gunslinger Kyle. Okay. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, I just started, so, no, I haven't reset, but I haven't really done anything either. I'm smart and funny. You can be a god trick hit to a clear. Okay. Play Nathan, see what he's like. Oh, here comes Seems like he's pretty good. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing yet as far as guilds. I haven't decided if I'm going to join one or if I was going to maybe just start my own and just play for fun and hang out. Um, but I'll let you know. I know a lot of the guys from KOABG joined a lot of the uh, old Dire Tide people and made like a Dire Tide guild and then they have a couple of, I think, side guilds as well. But I don't think I'm going to be super competitive in this, so... For you to die. But yeah, I'll let you know. If, uh, if I don't decide to make my own team, then, um, then I, sure, I wouldn't mind joining. <laughs> Stan's mom. Yeah. I bring you comfort. <laughs> NRN, like Nablonian Royal Navy. I used to be in Nablonian Royal Navy back in uh, Animation Throwdown. Hey, more arrowheads. And Mimsy. Okay, are we done? I don't want to buy any more. Okay, upgrade these cards. So, um... Oh, okay. I guess I have to click that one. So, there's the card stats. This is the item the upgrade requires. And tap here to complete the upgrade. Okay. <laughs> what about this? Can I upgrade this? Oh, okay, cool. So now I can upgrade the card, I guess. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sassy Teen? Is it Sassy Teen? Alright, um, who else can we upgrade? Calamity Heidi? We'll upgrade Sheriff Hartman. Sure. And we'll upgrade Tweak. Okay, I think we'll, we'll stop there for now. Level 7 in the game and arena rank 11. What's the max arena rank? Is it the si similar to uh, Bone Destroyer, like 15 or 16? Great play wall of China. Only the worthy warrior shall pass the wall. Win one PvP match to go further. 
Weak has a nice in-game play or in playability. Okay. Well then, let me uh, let me see if I can upgrade him. Where do I go to upgrade cards? Home base. No. Greetings, honorable warrior. I am the fight promoter, Dong King Butters. <laughs> you try your luck at PvP fight, yes? Come, let us find a suitable match. Nice. Oh, it's locked. Okay, that makes sense. I guess I have to get through the tutorial. Welcome to the Ultimate Phone Destroyer Challenge. Here you will challenge other kids. My current rank is 1, and here's some packs that I can win, I guess. Hey, Carlos! Opponent found. 50 arena ranks, wow. Uh, how do I like the game so far? It's it's pretty good. It seems a little bit more strategic than uh, Animation Throwdown, so that's kind of nice. Some Somebody was telling me it's really similar to, I guess, maybe Clash Royale or something like that. I don't know, I've never played that game, but one of my friends was telling me that it remind, reminded him of that game. So matches last for three minutes. This is your opponent's health bar made of three sections. Win by destroying the most sections in three minutes. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll lead off here. Does this hurt? Out. Here comes trouble. I'll dig you a shallow pool. I bring you comfort. Fire in the hole. Okay, so he hit. Wow, blew her up. In there, rat. So that's where, like, yeah, I want her to run right past everybody, right? And get straight into the hero. Nice. Sitting there chucking bombs. Oh, uh, so every time like I break through one of the uh, health bars, he sends out a shockwave or something. I'm guessing that was like a fake PvP match though. I don't think that was a real PvP match. <laughs> hey, PvP ticket, sweet. So if you're close to the bar, hold off on playing. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then just try and break it so that it doesn't blow up all my cards. Makes perfect sense. Alright, let's upgrade Tweak, because they said Tweak was good to upgrade. So, we'll upgrade him a few times. Hey, thanks, Carlos. Okay. Oh, I can upgrade Nathan too. Sweet. All right, we'll upgrade Nathan. Sure. Yeah, sure. We'll upgrade Heidi. Why not? Okay. It's all for now. All right. What do we do? What do we get to do next? Butters, man. South Park's really one of my, like, 
I love the animation throwdown shows. Like, of the animation throwdown shows, I think um, either Futurama or King of the Hill are my favorites. Actually, I mean, Bob's Burgers has really been growing on me a lot recently. I used to not like Bob's Burgers when it first came out, but um, the more I watch it, like, I'm really starting to, to fall in love with that show. But, uh, and South Park will always have a place in my heart. I, I grew up watching South Park. Rare, keep going, new kids. Oh, I heard Terrence Mephisto is pretty good because he's a flyer, right? So he can avoid damage or something. Flying bomber who deals area damage. Tap the rank icon to view this season's PvP rewards. Oh, they have PvP rewards. That's cool. Okay, so as you rank up, you get little rewards. That's cool. Oh, and when you're the, I guess, the leader, or L. I don't know what L stands for. Is it like legend or something? Wow, you sure kicked that kid's butt, and it looks like you won some PvP tokens. Use them to get extra stuff from my shop. Um, what do I want to use them on? Anything? Or save them? You got Storyteller Jimmy from that pack. Okay, so it is different stuff. Okay, that's premium. So I'm guessing just to hold on to my tokens. I guess I don't need to spend them right now. I'll just hold on to them. So I'm guessing cash is kind of difficult to earn in this game, I guess similar to gems and animation throwdown. Or would you say that the, the, which one's easier? Is it easier to earn cash in this game or gems and animation throwdown? You have a chance of getting some cash from the lockers, the but in Throwdown, you have to do the yeah, other through. Lots of coins. 
Hey, and cash, nice. And we will not be spending cash to open up more lockers. I heard that is terrible to do, so we'll skip that. Um, and what do we want to upgrade? Anything? No, not right now. I could probably upgrade tweak some more, I guess. It's harder when you progress, so get ready. Alright, thanks for that tip. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna get my ass kicked in one of these. So this one says it's pretty easy. So let's see what this one's like. What part is that? Is that like is episode three or four or five? That was a good, good carbon. Dude, Nathan has just been wrecking, man. He's just like sitting back there lobbing bombs. Oh, episode three. Cool. Okay. Hey gamer dog, how's it going? You have obviously spent hours on the phone, you kid. Yes, I have. <laughs> but I will now play my best card yet. Hook Hand Clyde. So War Cry, damage a random enemy, 28 if it hits the enemy leader. Huh. So he just comes out and oh, fires some damage. <laughs> Vast there, mateys. <laughs> okay, now I'm calling bullshit. Pirates definitely don't count as Indians. Same time period, roughly. <laughs> time for time for death, scallywags. Shoot him up. Pirate Clyde is a boss. Well then hopefully I'll end up getting him soon. So like what are some of the cards that I should be looking out for in you guys' opinion? Sweet. More coins. Always good. Lightning Bolt. Seems good. And more coins. Smuggler Ike and Outlaw Tweak. I don't think I have Smuggler Ike. So like what are what are some of the um, like the better cards that I should be looking out for? And what are like 
what are some really bad cards that I should be looking to get out of my deck as soon as possible, I guess is what I'm asking. Uh, Smuggler Ike is very good, okay. Still here. Hey, Stan. Stan is the group chat. <laughs> and Indians fight as one. Fire the cannons. Pirate ship Timmy. Nice. sure if I'm going to join one or if I'm going to create my own just to have some fun. I haven't really decided yet. I have some uh, some real life friends who just started playing this game as well, so we had talked about maybe starting our own little guild, but you know, I, haven't, I haven't really decided. Pirate ship Timmy. Let's see if we can get that smuggler Ike now. Let's go with the Lord Locker. Arrowhead. Coin. Sweet. Smuggler Ike. I love it. Increases his attack power. The bad cards, Pigeon Gang. Okay. And how many cards do you get to have in your deck? You've collected too many cards to use them all at once. Okay, well, I guess that answers that question. It's time to customize your team. So, enter your house. I can't read that because it's blocked. So, my current deck. So drag a card into your deck. Okay. Should I put lightning bolt in my deck? What do you guys think? Is there anything I should take out to put lightning bolt in? In your opinion? These seem fine. Eh, we'll just go with this. I don't think we need both. You take Nelly out? Okay. Alright. We'll try that. I'll take Nelly out for Lightning Bolt. Oh, I appreciate that, Red Dragon. I'll let you know. Like I said, um, I was talking to some of my buddies, and they uh, they had started playing, so um, and they had expressed some interest in creating a team. So we might uh, we might just make our own little team, and anybody who wants to join would be more than welcome. Like I said, I'm not looking to play this game super serious, very competitively. Um, I'm still planning on mostly just focusing on animation throwdown for now. Tap to return to the previous episode.
We have a few people in our guild that played before US release. Oh, okay, cool. That probably helps. Each stage has 15 difficulties. Beat the stage to level it up. Each time you beat the stage, you get new best loot. Oh. Well, that's cool. So it has some replayability. You can keep playing the stages over and they keep getting harder. I like that. I guess it's kind of similar to Animation Throwdown's adventure. It's like the islands got progressively more difficult as you played them. Put up your dukes. I wear the badge. Let's get Nathan out there. Here comes trouble. And then we'll get storyteller Jimmy, I think. There's Inuit Kenny again. I know that they started a, a dire pod game. And I think they're already full. And I'm pretty sure, I think that he said they have like two side guilds. Uh, I can't remember the name of them though, but he said that those are pretty much full too. So it looks like everybody's trying to get in with them. But uh, like I said, I'm going to let them play because they're they're probably going to be a little bit more competitive than what I'm going to look to be on this game. I just want to play this game for fun. I love South Park, man. And, uh, you know, if, if I was to quit playing Animation Throwdown, then I would consider playing something like this a little bit more seriously. But uh, since I'm going to still be playing Animation Throwdown, I don't, I don't really want to... Uh, so gruesome, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be trying to float two of these games at once. It's a little bit too much for me. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna play the third one, I don't think. Because I'll probably get my ass kicked in it. What's this? I've got 14 notifications here. Oh, I guess just different cards in my deck or something. I think I've gotten the man bear pig outfit. At least I haven't seen it. Alright, we'll try this one. On level two. I've heard Man Bear Pig's a pretty good card, though. Get him, Sally. out there so I can start leveling him up. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, man. Come on. That was 
pretty easy. One dollar. Sweet. More coins. Okay, let's upgrade some of these. Um, let's see. Let's upgrade Smuggler Ike. He's good. Okay, so now we need more cards to upgrade him. And now we don't have any more things to upgrade with. Okay. So I guess like you upgrade them a little bit at a time and then once you get enough of the same card you can like level them up or whatever. So similar to Animation Throwdown, how you rank them up and then you get another one to fuse it kinda and it's like a level up sort of thing. <sighs> Alright, well let's we'll go through these and see if we can beat all of the um level 2 versions and then we'll get back to uh, doing some more of the story I can hide you, that's how I've been successful. Okay. Ah, that was a miss. Right, get out there, Smuggler Ike. Yeah, Ike is pretty damn good. Gizmo like <laughs> like from uh Gizmo from uh Oh what was the movie? I don't know why I can't remember the name of that movie. Gremlins, right? Gremlins was one of my favorite movies when I was growing up. I loved it, even though it was like a scary movie. It scared the shit out of me when I was a little kid. I still loved it. <laughs> Be careful what you upgrade because you can't bet the materials, get the materials back like Giggity wants. Okay. Can you play like the same level? I guess you can play the same levels multiple times, right? Okay. So, but you can't go back and play like the same difficulty over and over again. You, you, every time you beat it, you have to keep playing the harder difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> 
says it's hard, it's not. <laughs> That's good to know. Donation. Oh, you knocked him back. So far, this game's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. It's just something a little bit different. It's a lot harder to farm that way, not being able to replay the same level, and the lockers make it even more random. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, we'll just do this one, and then I guess we'll keep going on with the story. Mephisto Terrence has just been really good. Like, he doesn't die. I guess because he's flying. Okay. Coin. Sweet. Bandita Sally. And Indian Feathers. 
Only shooting enemies can hurt him. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, we'll try this. Maybe we'll get another smuggler Ike. I save all my golden turds, that's how. I just don't spend them. What's up, Elixir Mixer? I've been saving my golden turds ever since. I think the last time I spent golden turds was during the Educated BGE, if that gives you any idea of how long I've been saving them. Bendita Sally. Yeah, Tron, uh, Tron Stan is like, he does the freeze attack thing, right? And I think, doesn't like Osimo or something do it also? Smuggler Ike. Come on, Smuggler Ike. Nothing. I guess we'll hold off upgrading for now. Let's we'll see what can we can we upgrade her? Eh, we'll just hold off. There's no reason to. Alright, pirate ship Timmy. time kill the enemy character to play yours oh okay so he's got an icon play so i can't play my eye i actually like that that's kind of cool I have a feeling I'm gonna get my ass kicked in PvP battles. So yeah, okay, it's a lot like Clash Royale. That's what uh, some of my buddies were saying that it was a lot like Clash Royale. I've never played it, so I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't get the reference. <laughs> oh, 
I'm smart and funny. Kid, heard you're working with Don King Butters. Okay, I'll try this one. My dog might need to go outside soon. There he is. What cell phone are you using? I'm on a, um, I'm on a, 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 a picture. Which I've been a huge fan of this phone ever since I've gotten it. Really, really like the Pixel. Uh, I haven't heard much about the Pixel 2. But, um, one thing that I did hear that I didn't really like was that it doesn't have a uh, headphone jack. And I know for some people that's not a big deal, but... I don't know, I use my headphone jack a lot. Because my car, it won't sync up with my car on Bluetooth. I have to actually um, plug in a headphone jack to get my uh, audio to play, play through my car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've used, uh, I've used those phones in the past myself, so I definitely know what you mean by that. And I could just, like, he, once he gets going, he gets going. Plus 48 attack. Jesus. And now he's just gonna get blown up. No cowboy has ever made it this far down the block. Now, Paleface, you will die alone. Deckhand Butters. with his little butter knives. Nice. You've gotten your Ike up to 96, that seems pretty ridiculous. I agree, Carbon. this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, he got one hit in, so... Come on, Carbon. Ooh. Yeah, I like all the South Park characters. Like, I don't know if there's a South Park character that like that I don't like. They they're all just I don't know. They're all interesting and unique in their own way. Nice! Seven arrowheads. Let's see if we can get those uh, Indian feathers here. That would be pretty sweet. Um, what is this one? No. Well, we got an, an Indian feather. Alright, uh, I'm going to do one more uh, stage and then I will probably have to go for a little while. Um, I really need to put some work into the Athletic BGE review and then I have another project that I'm working on. So I've got a full weekend ahead of me. Um, but I'll be doing more of these live streams, uh, especially with this game. This is a fun game to just to the live stream and sit back and play. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm sniped and funny. Oh, Cartman's so slow. Hell yeah, man. I'm, I've been waiting on that movie, I guess, for a year, like everybody else. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to uh, finding out a little bit more about um, Ray's origins. I'm not really sure, you know, where I fall on that. I know some people think that she's, like, Luke's daughter. I don't think she's Luke's daughter. Some people think she's, like, a Palpatine. And I'm not sure about that either. Like, I really don't know what to expect. And then, like, I really hope that they show Luke is doing something really badass. Like, that's what I want to see before... Because, I mean, I know by the end of episode 9, I guess, they're going to kill off Luke. Like, they're, I know their plan was to get rid of all of the... I think get rid of all the original cast. So, um... I don't know if Luke, Luke might not die in this one, but I have a feeling that by episode 9, Luke is going to die as well. But I really hope they just show him like being real badass at some point, like, and using like, some of his force power. Because I heard in like the, uh, the latest novel, spoiler alert, that um, you know, Luke is apparently able to pull a Star Destroyer out of orbit. <laughs> Like that Star Destroyer that you saw on Jakku in um, in The Force Awakens, apparently Luke pulled that Star Destroyer out of orbit, and that's why it, it crashed into Jakku. So I'm really hoping that they, they let Luke kind of display his Force powers at some point. I'm also, like, really curious about Snoke, like, who Snoke is. I don't, I'm not really sure who Snoke is. I guess Ray could be, I mean, maybe a Kenobi. I mean, honestly, like, any of those things are possible. She could be a Kenobi. She could be a Skywalker. I have no idea. She could be another Virgins in the Force or something. I think the, uh, the Palpatine theory is kind of neat. You know, we got a call from Butters. PvP match. Why not? We'll do one PvP match and then we'll we'll call it. I know, buddy. Can you give me just a minute? Or I guess I could. I'll just walk down there and let him out. What's the PvP wall? I don't know what that is. Is that here? Are you talking about the rewards? This is taking a really long time. Did my game crash or something? Oh. Yeah, I mean, 
I guess it's just kind of getting people into the habit of doing PvP matches. I could see it being a little bit annoying, though, like it breaks up the story unnecessarily, kind of. Oh, this apparently is not working. Alright, let's try again. Alright, here we go. So this is an actual PvP match. Okay, cool. I covered for you. There's a new sheriff in town. PvP match. Battleborn achievement. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard a few people say that, that the gameplay does get a little bit repetitive. Oh, let's get some PvP tokens. Sweet. There we go, we got our PvP tickets. And a power serum. Done, bud. Come on back in. Uh, nothing that I really want to upgrade here, right? Calamity Heidi, maybe? Uh, Heidi. Yeah, we'll look at Heidi. Uh, I'm actually probably going to end the stream here. Um, like I said, I need to, uh, I really want to work on the um, athletic BGE review so that I can try and get that out by tomorrow at the latest. And then I have another project I'm working on. So I just wanted to jump on here and at least try and get through uh, some of the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm one of those people that I say I'm going to end it and then uh, I'll see something shiny pop up on the screen and uh, I'll just play a little bit longer. 
Okay. Oh, there's my man bear pig costume and mask. Sweet. 24 hour live stream? No, I don't think so. Not today, at least. Maybe another time. We'll put on the man bear pig costume, though. Plus, you guys want the uh, you guys want the athletic review, right? So I, I have to work on that. I have to stop doing this to work on that at some point in time. Uh, so far, it's it's a lot of fun. I like it. Um, we'll see how it uh, how it holds up over time, but uh, I think it's it's different. At least it's something different that I've it's something that I've never played before. So, because uh, like I said, I never played Clash Royale. I like that um, it's kind of a combination of a card game and a strategy game. Hey, thanks for joining, Alex uh, Elixir. I I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this is where I'm going to end it. Uh, that way I can start working on this uh, this review and try and get that out for you guys tomorrow. Uh, thanks to everybody for joining. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll do some more. Um, and I'm also planning on live streaming the uh, Siege match tomorrow. We're up against Ceres, so should be a pretty fun match. We're going to try uh, a little bit of a different strategy this time around just to see how it plays. Um, so it should be interesting, so you'll get to see a little bit of that. Um, I'll probably try and do that stream maybe around uh, 3 or 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, just a little bit after um, it starts. So just keep your eyes open for that, guys, and until then, uh, I'll see you next time. Appreciate it. Thanks.